start shaking Your heart gets to pumping Your knees get to knocking And your mind starts racing It's a feeling like you never felt before Have you coming back for more? But fever gonna get you for it But fever have you praying to the Lord That rat, that grunt, that snare, that stomp Will make you a believer in our old family holler. It's a 12-acre holler we own up here. That's where Dad killed his big eight-point at. Or not eight-point, I'm sorry. That big, that big body six-point there a few weeks ago. And uh, he's up in Baltimore working pipeline. Uh, and he's been telling me to come up here and hunt. There's a There was a big white eight-point up here. And uh, we've been getting video of him all summer and fall. And there's actually there's about three, three or four different big bucks up here. But he's he's mainly the one we've set our sights on getting. He's real wide. He he ain't all that tall, but he's real wide. And we're we're hoping he comes in this morning. If he does, uh, want to try to put the raven to work on him. I said we're here at my dad's food plot. I filled this protein. Uh, stationary feeder up I think it was Friday and it's already empty so we got some scent out and some Doc's deer scent out uh, love potion number nine we're gonna do a little rattling and grunting this morning and we'll see what happens y'all stick with us Certain that was that. I'm more certain that was that eight point. That big one that me and Dad's been after in his all. Huh? Give me some time. We don't want to look on it. He ran off. It looked like I drilled him right behind the shoulder. <coughs> huh? I seen him when he took off running. 
I'm more certain that's a big eight point that me and dad's been after in this holler. Did you see how wide he was? His tines ain't real tall, but he was heavy. He was heavy. He's heavy, had a good body on him. I just rattled and grunted, what, five minutes ago? Standing here stretching. I was sitting there on my phone looking at the bowl predictions. <laughs> and I thought a nice buck one. Uh, I heard, I thought I heard something slip mine. Did you even see him? He come from right there. I don't know how God's name you did. Was you still standing? No. I was or was here. he sitting there? I was just looking. I turned and looked. I mean, he was right here, 10 yards behind me. He come right down, right over here. Did you get him coming down the hill over here? No. Or did you just get him when he... To, trying to look for I seen him. The record button is on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I got him coming. I mean, he was walking down, and he just walked out. And it wasn't five seconds, maybe he walked out. He, he was right there at 20. Him up. I'd, I'd like to have gotten a little more footage of him, but... Yeah, me too. Man, I, he was right there at 20 yards. I put the 20-yard pin right dead on. He took off running on his offside. Oh, yeah. I could see blood oh, right I up. Could, I could see it in the camera. I could see hey, where you hit him give in the me camera. Some. Give me some. I got my buddy James back here. He's filming for me. I didn't hear him crash. Well, huh? I didn't hear him crash, did you? No, but I'm hoping he's just laying right up that holler right there. I, I give him about, I give him some time. I give him a little bit. Kind of, kind of hoping maybe one of them cameras down there might have picked that up too. Yeah. I forgot to turn the tactic cam on. Uh, I had time to do it too. Oh man, I can tell you. I wish I was zoomed in just to hear better though. But I mean, you probably got 20 seconds of footage. <laughs> but I mean, you got the shot. Yeah. Man. You know, that's, that's just how this goes. Like I said, this is a buck that me and dad have been getting video of in this holler. I'm more than certain it's him. I said his, his time length ain't real tall, but he was he was, he was heavy and he was real wide, yeah. And that's that's that eight point. I I know he's at least an eight point, and we ain't had pictures of another eight point like that in this holler. And I just punched my last tag. It's that's it for me. It's two bucks for bow season. I can't I can't kill another one. I can kill an old doe, but. Looks like uh, looks like me and James are going to be resetting the basis for the camera, and I'm going to have to film for him now. But I tell you what, I take my hat off to the Lord. He he blessed us again. That that big buck come out. We've been sitting here since right at daylight. It was it was just barely starting to crack daylight when we climbed into the stand. <laughs> Me and Dad's been. This is this is my Dad's food plot. It's going to be December before he gets back from Baltimore, and uh, he's been telling me to come up here and hunt that buck right there. And still, at first, I wasn't for sure if it was him until he broke into the food plot right here, and then I got a good look at him through the scope. And I looked back over top. Just, I mean, it all happened real fast right here. I know, but. I mean, that's that's just how it goes. That's hunting, you know. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you said he was behind you, I thought you meant he was coming off that hill there. No, heck no. He was, he was right here in the clearing. He was standing right there. He probably he must have walked down from up there. Cause I, exactly. I would have heard him if he was right here. I don't know where exactly he come from, but when I looked, he was right there. He was right in the brush. I ain't seen him. I didn't even hear him. What the have you seen him? Man? Oh, man. I mean, they, with it being wet like that, you can't really hear him. I can tiptoe right through all of this. <laughs> That's like that when me and uh, Roger were out here last year. Me and him were just looking up the hill, and all of a sudden, he just said he looks over, and there's a, that little weight point just sitting right there in the middle of the food plot. Oh, yeah. 
Let's go look at this thing. Here we go. Hang on. You see here where these deer been? Man, they got trails coming all in. It's all here. This food spot. Trying not to slip and fall. <clears throat> That was it. Thought he was further up in here. Well, ben, if I'm not mistaken, I'll let him come on up here. Yep. Nah, that ain't it. We ain't gonna lose my crossbow. Oh, right there, yeah. Yep, I see the blood too. Oak City. There's some hair off of it. There's a reason. This way, man. See blood? He didn't cut into that field, did he? Hmm? 
but there's bubbles in that. Glad it ain't raining. Of course he went up the hill. There he is. See? Oh, I see him Right there, and then he, he flopped back down here. Is he underneath that log? Yeah, get him with a buck. You want to roll him down the hill? Uh -huh. Roll him down the hill there. That's the big wide eight that we've been after. I can't thank good Lord enough for this, huh? For a good, good shot, quick, clean kill, a good recovery. That's right here's proof that if you put the work and time in, Running feeders, running cameras, putting in food plots, putting in your time hunting, that it can work. Had the docks deer sent out to Love Potion number nine, and done some rattling and grunting there this morning, and he came, he came right in. Oh man, I punched my, I punched my ticket out on this one. This was my, this was my second eight point of the season, my second buck. So I'm done now to rifle season. I'm only allowed one more buck. So 
Maybe we can put one on the ground bigger than him. But hey, y'all stick with us, man. I'm gonna be filming James now. It's his turn to get out there and try to kill one. And my buddy Mark, he filmed his little boy Gage yesterday shooting his first buck. I tell you what, there's good things happening here at Itchy Bottom Outdoors. We got a protein mix we've been using that they've absolutely been tearing up. Our mineral that we mix and put out, they've been tearing it up all summer for the last two years. A lot of, a lot of good things happening here, so y'all stick with us, man. This is, this is a load of fun right here.